Shalom, shalom. This is Brother Poya coming back here with a lesson. What we're gonna get into about the destruction and Jacob's trouble. It says, Woe unto the world and them that the world therein. For the sword and destruction draw nigh, and one person shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. So yeah, you're gonna have people you have a race wars, people fighting up against each other. You're gonna have people out there hiding, you know, hiding up under your house. Somebody might kick in your door, you know. Um, number sixteen, it says, "For there shall be sedition among men, evading one another. They shall not regard the kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall they stand in their power." Number 17, it says, a man shall desire to go into a city. You have people wanting to go into a city to, to just to get something to eat or something. It ain't going to happen. It says, and shall not be able. So, you, I mean, they're not going to be able to go into a city to do anything. All right? Let's see. Let's go to... Uh, we're going to go to Revelation chapter 20 verse uh, chapter 20 verse 4. Revelation chapter 20 and verse 4. It says, it says, and I saw, it says, and I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witnesses of Yahweh and for the word of Yahweh and which had not worshipped the beast neither his image neither had received his mark upon their head the foreheads or their hands and they live and reign with Yahweh a thousand years come so I mean when you, when you talk about the uh the mark, you know, you you get that, you you get the seal of the elect on the, on the forehead, all right. So let's go into uh, let's go to Jeremiah. Let's go to Jeremiah. Chapter thirty verse seven to eight. It says, it says, as ye now. And see whether a man doeth travail with a child. It says, Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail? And all faces are turned into paleness. You gotta have men scared, man, in that day, man. You gotta have men scared, man. The, these prophecies are already kicking off. You got people getting the Unga Bunga virus. I mean, it ain't looking too good, man. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that no, none is like it. It is even this time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Yeah. And you're going to have that the one-third get saved out of it. The two-thirds is going to get destroyed. All right. Let's go to, um, let's see. Let's go to uh, Matthew. Yeah, Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24 and 6 start at 6 it says and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must be must come to pass but the end is not yet so all these things are must come to pass you're gonna have wars rumor of wars you're gonna have race wars it says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. It says, and there shall be famines, famine of the word, and pestilence. You already got that virus, the coronavirus. It says, and earthquakes in diverse places. You got earthquakes everywhere. It says, all, all these are the beginning of sorrows. 
So these are the beginning of sorrows. It says, and then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall not. It says, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. It says, and then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. Yeah, you're gonna like I said. You're gonna have people killing each other, man. And then, uh, let's go to, uh, uh, let's go. Oh, yeah, Daniel. Let's go to Daniel. Chapter 12. Daniel chapter 12. What's that? One. This is Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great uh, prince, which uh, standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was seen. There was a nation even to that, time, to that same time. And that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book that's right well people are going to be delivered in that time man you know when when all this hell break loose it says number two it says and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt so you gotta measure the times, man. You gotta measure the times diligently. This, this this place ain't gonna last too long. It's not looking too good. You know? Let's go to Second Ezra's Yeah, Second Ezra chapter nine. Verse one. Alright. Let's go to Second Ezra chapter nine, verse one. Let's see what it says. It says, and he answered me then and said, measure thy time digitally in itself. And when thou seest the part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he had made. It says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people, in the world, like I said, you have people uh, going into stores and they, they hungry, can't get nothing to eat. You got you, you already see it on the uh, the thing I looked up. People running into the stores, buying up all the guns. It says, and then shall thou will understand that the Most High spoke of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. I mean, you know, this is this this is nothing new. This is this is the same thing before time. It's, it has happened before. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter one verse uh, nine. It says, "The thing that have been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done, that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun." So there's nothing new about these things, man. These prophecies were before, before us. These happened before us. The pestilence, the same pestilence happened then, or the same ones that are happening now. Alright? Now. Let's go to uh, Luke. Yeah, Luke. Luke 21. Oh no no no! Let me go to um, First Thessalonians. Yeah, yeah, First Thessalonians. Get the five. First Thessalonians. Get the five. Get the five. 
left. All right, the first one. It says, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For your, yourselves, knowing perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Number three, it says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then suddenly destruction cometh upon them as a travail upon a woman with child like a woman giving birth like I said in Jeremiah chapter 30 7 through 8 it's the same thing and it says and they shall not escape they're gonna not escape none of these plagues and these pestilences coming upon this place man it's gonna be all hell chaos so you you might you, you gonna get it run into one tribulation you might have somebody running after you with a gun and a damn tiger get out of the zoo and come and maul the back of your back. Let's go to um Let's go to uh yeah Luke Luke chapter 21 Yeah Luke chapter 21 Luke chapter 21 and 11 and it says a great it says and great earthquakes shall be in the diverse places and famines and pestilence and fearful signs and great great signs shall there be from heaven but before all these things they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you delivering you up to the synagogues and into the prisons being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake it says and it shall turn to you for a testimony Settle it says settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what ye shall answer for I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist and ye shall be betrayed betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolk and friends and some of you shall some of, it says, some of you shall they cause to be put to death, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not a hair of your head perish in your persecution. I mean, it's like in your patience holds your, ye your souls. Huh. So... I mean, like you're not gonna perish. You're just gonna you're gonna get you're gonna get brought back to life if you're the elect. You're not gonna um, your soul won't be wiped out. Let's see, uh, Matthew chapter twenty-four, verse forty-four. It says, This is Matthew chapter 24, verse uh, 44. It says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. You got to be ready, man. You got to be ready for this thing, this thing to jump off. You don't know what's going to happen. You know, you might be trapped in your house by yourself. You know, that's the reason why you need your brethren. You need to always be around your brethren. Try to spend as much time with your family as much as you can. Alright? 
Let's go to um Revelations chapter eighteen. Revelations chapter eighteen. Revelations chapter eighteen and yeah. So this is Revelations, and this is gonna talk about how this place is gonna be destroyed in one hour, man. This is Revelations chapter eighteen, verse seventeen. For in one hour so great riches is come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the company of in ships, sailors, and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? It says, And they cast dust on their hand and their heads and cried, weeping and willing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city were in were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her countless for in one hour is she made desolate that city that's America being burnt up by them thermonuclear warheads man and it says rejoice over her thou heaven and ye holy um, apostles and prophets for Yahweh had avenge you on her and mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea saying thus with the violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all come that great this great city Babylon the gate is going to be destroyed man the most I'm going to wipe this place away man no more Babylon the homosexuals alright <clears throat> this is Matthew Matthew chapter 24 verse 36 it says but of that day and hour knoweth no man no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. So the Most High only knows when all this stuff is going to erupt. When, all, when this place gets destroyed in that one hour. Alright. Let's go. Luke. This is Luke chapter 21, verse uh, 32. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. So all these these prophecies, everything has to be fulfilled. You know, it's not going to be wiped away just now, right now. But all these prophecies, the pestilence, the famine of the word, you know, being persecuted. All these, all these things have to come. Earthquakes, everything has to come. All right. This is uh Second Peter. No, Second Peter. This is Second Peter chapter three. I'm gonna start at nine, I guess. It says The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness but is long suffering to upward not willing that any shall perish but that all shall come to repentance that's the reason why you have to repent and come back to the most high it says but the day of the lord will come as a thief in the night you know you're gonna be out there partying you out there partying you know the messiah might come back you get destroyed it says but it says but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with great with a great noise 
It says, and the elements shall melt with the fervent heat. The earth also and the works that that are therein shall be burnt up. Oh. You know, let's see. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to go to uh, Revelations, and I'm going to end this, you know, just short lesson. I'm going to do another lesson tomorrow. This is uh, Revelations chapter 3, and you have to read, you have to do this work, man, all right? You have to read this these words, man. You got to read this book. You got to get into this book. You got to go out there and do the labor, all right? This is uh, Revelations chapter 1, verse 3. It says, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. It says, And keep the, those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Like I said, you got to get this word. You have to get this milk. You have to come and read this Bible. You know, get into to these prophecies. Learn the feast days. You got to go out there and labor. And you got to put that time in. Like you go to work all, every day. You know, like you go to the plantation every day. You got to put that time in. You got to get this work and this labor. Getting it done. Alright. With that being said. I want to give all honor and glory and praises to Yahweh. Bahashim Yashai. Abanawa Yahweh. Bahashim Yashai. Ka Halam Yahweh. Bahashim Yashai. Shalom.